guys, welcome back to another episode of Expecting Soon and today's episode is slightly more special and a bit nerve-wracking because I am actually packing for my hospital stay so I'm very excited to share with you guys what I have inside my hospital bag so let's jump into it so I decided to bring a luggage because there's quite a lot of things and this luggage is really easy to like drag around so let's start with the boring part first this is the first important document that I have to bring it's actually <gasps> So the first thing we have here is our marriage cert which I don't know why it's a hell cap okay thank god I'm like filming this video if not I would have gone to the hospital like this and like here's my marriage cert and they'll be like what the hell is this the next thing I have with me is actually the admission letter which is when I arrive I have to give it to the reception over there and they will know that I'm here for a delivery and like what kind of room I'll be staying in Can you imagine like if you're in pain and then you still have to like fill up your form and like tell them your name or like what you're gonna do here I don't wanna think about that so yes you just like pass it to them and they will like settle everything I have kind of separated the things into two sections in my luggage one side is for baby and like one side is for me so shall we go through what I brought for the baby first so the first item we have here is actually like a bean sprout husk pillow which a lot of Singaporeans call it Toto because like they keep it from like young and then they like leave it in their bedroom until they're like 35 or something and it really smells like but they love it because it's like you know when you grow up with it like a sense of familiarity and like security so I brought her some onesies and this one we have here is by H&M not sponsored but it's actually organic cotton I'm not very sure what's the difference lah, to be honest but organic sounds better right the next one we have are the short sleeve onesies so this is from Burke she actually got it from Australia and but it's gonna be baby's got mom so it's really sweet she bought some of her clothing for her this one it says hello daddy I thought it was really cute I bought this online and the material is pretty good for like an online product I'm very proud of myself it's like three dollars <laughs> this socks were actually passed down from my friend's baby but I thought it was really cute so I decided to bring it like I feel that it's okay to have some hand-me-downs as babies because like hand-me-downs are usually washed like a few times and they are like more comfortable I would say so I think it's completely fine for baby to wear like second-hand clothes so the next item we have here is swaddles if you guys don't know what swaddling is it's actually like when you wrap your baby up into like a burrito so that also helps them feel like comfortable and tight and warm and this one is the one where you actually wrap it up yourself so it's like one big cloth I chose the panda design because I thought it was very cute so as for swaddles not only do they have like the wrap type they have a new type of swaddle that is more for lazy people I guess because it's just a little pillowcase looking thing with a zip where you just like put your baby in and you, like, zip it up so it's like sleeping bag but yeah the hands will be like here and the legs will be here so she'll be like like stuck. So if you didn't know, Cindy from Playtime TV actually picked this out on an episode with Jian Hao at Toys R Us. So she was able to pick anything she wanted in Toys R Us and she was very sweet and she decided to pick a little toy for baby and it's called Noisy Animal. I hope she likes it. So that's it for the clothing section for baby and now it's more towards the essential parts, not so cutesy but important. So what I have here is diapers so these ones are from offspring and they are actually ultra thin diapers for newborns and it's a really small and compact packaging which is awesome so I decided to bring this along the next thing we have in my hospital bag is these weird boxes so you are probably wondering what is all this but it's actually the cord blood collection kit so this cord blood collection kit is basically handed over to your doctor once you arrive in the hospital and what is cord blood is basically when you are born everyone has like an umbilical cord like where your belly button is right now so when you're born the doctor will usually cut it off like they will like clamp it and cut it off but do you know that actually the blood inside the umbilical cord is very very important and it can actually save your life one day and like this technology has not been around since our parents era so maybe a lot of us don't have our cord blood stored but now we're very fortunate to be able to work with cord life because the cord blood that you have in your umbilical cord can actually cure a lot of diseases 
and it can actually be used for a lot of treatments like blood cancer and things like that. Hot Life is also the only company in Singapore that has dual certification to be able to store all these important things. Because it's stored in this cryogenic tank, that means it brings it down to like really, really low temperatures so it can be stored for like many years. So let's move on to the stuff that I brought for myself. So the stay in the hospital will be about two days. If I'm having a natural vaginal delivery or if I'm having a C-section, like emergency with C-section, which I hope that I'm not gonna have is gonna be a three to four day stay. I only pack for two days. <laughs> and the first two things that I brought is my outfit that I'm gonna wear. And this is the maternity outfit by Jump Eat Cry. And I decided to bring this white one because it's really loose on the waist and you can actually just adjust it to how tight you want it. Let's say if I'm feeling very uncomfortable, I can just loosen it. And if I need to breastfeed, I can just open up and feed the baby. And the second outfit is this very, very cute dress. It also opens right here. So if baby needs milk, Ta-da! And I've been wearing it through my pregnancy. So the great thing about Jamit Cry is that you can wear it before you're pregnant. I think it looks great as an outfit. Like even my outfit right now, it's a maternity collection. But if I'm not pregnant, I'll still wear it because it's very comfortable. So I really love Jamit Cry and I really love their clothing they have there. So if you're interested, you can check it out in the description below. And yes, they have new launches every week. Don't be afraid that you get bored of the clothing because you know, there's just like so many new clothes coming in all the time and I'm also always eyeing on them because it's really so comfortable. So the next item I have are my bras and these are not regular bras you know they're not like the sexy lace bras you have also. It is nursing bras and what are nursing bras you guys wonder. So this is like how you wear it on okay it's very very like not appealing but it really is very comfortable because there's no wires and there's like nothing like jabbing you but when your baby's hungry or if you need to like pump your milk you can actually just unclip this and open up and jeng jeng like milk machine <laughs> and you can like breastfeed your baby anywhere not really anywhere because like you can't be like walking around like this right so what you actually need is this a nursing cover to just wear over it looks like a very pretty cardigan but it actually hides your milk machines okay so another item that i have to bring along is actually this thing this is actually disposable breast pad it's a bit funny right when you are breastfeeding your boobies actually leak milk so in order to not have like two wet lodges on your shirt while you walk around you have to actually use these pads they're like cotton pads that you paste on the inside of your bra that will absorb all the leaking milk so you won't have to walk around with like two wet blotches on your shirt the next item i have is actually my toiletries and i've brought two toothbrushes one for me and one for how he doesn't have to pack the, the toothbrushes and these are actually like the ones that you take from the hotel so you see one day will come into use don't say we cheapo or don't say that we're you know trying to be like stingy or thrifty but you'll need it one day i brought my face wash and also like my stretch mark oil it's interesting why i bring it right i'm also wondering why did i bring it but the thing is do you know that you have to actually continue to apply your stretch mark oils and creams even four months after giving birth to ensure that it like reduces in size slowly and it also prevents any further stretch marks so that's why i have it in a small bottle here so the next item i brought is some snacks for me because i get very hangry recently during pregnancy basically hangry is like when you're hungry and then you get frustrated and upset that's like me but during pregnancy it like doubled I brought some snack bars these are yogurt coated muesli hopefully it gives me a lot of energy to push the baby out of me okay so the next item I have here is Fujifilm Instax Mini Li Play which is a instant camera so this camera is really compact it's like the size of a wallet really handy and it comes with a strap so you won't drop it when you're excited and you're like oh yeah so what's so cool about this Instax Mini Li Play is that you get a screen at the back so it is a camera and also a printer so you can actually link up your phone and print out photos from this a picture speaks a thousand words right but this picture captures sound okay i'm so like amazed by this but on this camera you can actually record the audio and then you, when you print it out, there'll be like a QR code on the side and when you scan it next time, you can actually hear like what was going on at that point of time. Which means I can record the baby's first cry and I can listen to it over and over again. And even when she grows up, I'm like, like here's the photo, just scan the QR code and you can hear yourself crying. But that 
is so amazing. I'm so mind blown by this. This is great also because do you know when you take like normal instant photos, you can't really decide or choose which one you want because it's like then your eyes are like uh, then it's like too bad. Like over on this camera, you get to select which is awesome. So you can like eliminate all your unglam photos and you can like retake until you're satisfied. And you can even add like filters or like borders around your picture, which is so cute. And I can't wait to like you know just like make really cute pictures. So I'm done showing you guys what I'm bringing for my hospital bag. And of course, Mr. Daddy has to bring his own stuff, right? So please come here and all show right. them what you're bringing. Mr. Daddy is here. So. I'm going to show you guys what I will be bringing to the hospital because I'm going to. Of course! <laughs> so we begin with the first thing, which is a blanket. Um, in case I get cold, or in case you get cold, I'll probably be like, I'll probably be like the dad, you know, like just waiting by the sofa <laughs> while you're at, what was it called? Confinement? What? No, uh, labor? What? <laughs> labor? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, what's the induction? No, labor. No, when you're waiting in the sofa and then waiting for dilution. <laughs> Guys, dilation. He's not, uh, he's not ready. <laughs> 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 dilation! When she's do doing dilation, doing? I'm just waiting there with a blanket in case it gets too cold. Doing dilation, yeah. baby. I got some uh, eye mask. I usually cannot sleep if it's not complete darkness. And so I take this around me when I go on staycations or when I'm staying somewhere which is not my room. I brought a hat in case. I don't know, in case my hair gets messy or something. And oh my god, this guy is just like <laughs> packing for a holiday. I brought a gaming phone. So me and the boys can, you know, play PUBG while waiting. <laughs> or Roblox. I don't know what to pack, okay? The thing is, like... He just wants to bring everything is in bag, my right? Everything is in my car. Like, I have a set of clothes in my car, I have shoes in my car, I have slippers in my car. This okay. should be called okay, what okay. you should not bring to the hospital. And then we have a fan in case... I mean, in case I, I get cold, I have the blanket. In case I get hot, I have the fan. But really, this is for like, when I'm sweating and probably when I have to cut the, the cord. And uh, I probably might faint. So, you need some fan to make Honestly, sure. Honestly, I think I have to be prepared to comfort him more than yeah. he comforts me. You gotta make space for me on the bed. I'm very unimpressed. Marriage certificate. Yeah, I was looking for it, How do you know? How about that? You know, I you were I... You were looking for it until you realised... No, I was like, so guys, like, this is a... <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. In the video? Yeah. <laughs> well, guess what? Daddy's prepared. So I also got mala powder in case the food is a bit bland. But you know, if, if I, I heard the food is pretty good at Thompson. We have a presidential suite, I think. It's called a family suite. Oh, we have, a, suite. we have a nice suite. And the last I heard, the food was really good. So uh, I don't think I will need this. I bought some wet wipes. See, I'm, I'm prepared already. I heard that the babies like poop on you. <laughs> Gee! <laughs> Why don't you just wait for me at home? <laughs> I'll just come back three days after, okay? I brought along my vlog camera so we can make a video, take some moments. This is really good because aside from having the crew and everyone there, you know, this is more like moments between us that we can, when it's just us alone. Just so. us alone will be him like lying on the sofa playing games under his bed. So we have come to the end of this episode and hopefully I did not miss out anything and if I did, I still have kind of a few weeks to like... I don't think a few weeks. By the time this upload, maybe a few days. So oh, yeah. if you guys have any recommendations, you know, any yeah, experience, let us know in the comments like ASAP. So thanks for watching this episode of Expecting Soon. Remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more. And yes, we're going to be vlogging and, you know, showing me giving birth. But yes, yeah, so stay tuned for that and we're really excited. So we'll see you on the next episode. Bye!